Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel and those of you who are returning, um, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for all of your support and I'm glad you came back to one of my videos. This is the weekend pick a pile for the weekend of the 31st through the second. So what's going on this weekend? What do we need to be aware of? What's happening to us, okay? Um, I've got three piles out here. Uh, in a second, I will bring the camera down so that you may pick them. Uh, I will let it go for 30 seconds so you can, if you need more time, you can have time to pause the video. I will leave all the timestamps in the description below. Please know that you can be drawn to one or two piles or three piles, whatever piles you are drawn to, those are your messages that you are, that you need to know. And please also know that these uh, weekend pick a piles, just because I say they're the weekend, um, if you're drawn to my video, like tons of time in the future, like way past this weekend, um, you just needed to hear the message for that day. All right. Okay. So if you are, um, not new, <laughs> go ahead to your pile selection. If you are new um, and you need to know how to do this, <laughs> stick around. All right. So what you do is you take a deep breath in, hold it, and then let it out. And then keep doing that for as long as it takes for you to clear your mind, to calm down, and to totally relax. Then you ask yourself the question, what do I need to know most this weekend? And then whatever pile you are drawn to or piles you are drawn to, that is the message for you. All right, so I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to Bring the camera down, and I'm going to let you pick. Hi, all my pile wands. Welcome to your reading. If you picked pile one, this reading is for you. All right. So, your main angel that's going to be around you this weekend um, that wants to bring forth a message, it's bringing forth the message this weekend, is Gabriel. And he's bringing forth a message of inspiration. Notice all the light. Notice that there's a planet up here and it's like beaming light down into the earth. It's nurturing the earth. It's giving inspiration to the earth. It's shooting down knowledge, creation, inspiration into your skull, basically, into your brain this weekend. So you might be very, find yourself very creative. Um, there, you might have a spark of inspiration to do something spontaneous, something ordinary, extraordinary out of the blue. And um, what they want to let you know is fickle flowers okay this is not a time to second guess yourself this is not a time to second guess your creativity or any create or any um ideas that come into your head because the ideas that are coming into your head this weekend are meant for you to jump on to embark on there's some type of creative project that you might be doing for some of you for others of you this could be inspiration to i don't know clean up your house um you know maybe uh talk to that person that you haven't talked to in a long time um Whatever the case may be for you, whatever the situation is, whatever sparks your inspiration this weekend, do not be fickle about it. Don't overthink the matter, okay? Flowers, they're light, they're airy, right? 
So let that light and airy energy um, flow into you. You know, don't be too fickle about it. Don't second guess yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Okay. Um, and then we've got spontaneity. And look, there's the light again and all that fire, all that passion, all that creation, right? So when I feel like when this inspiration comes in for you, it's going to come in out of the blue. Just it's going to spontaneously happen. Or you might spontaneously decide, be inspired to go on a trip or to go to the park. Whatever it is this weekend that you are spontaneously inspired to do, don't overthink it. Just go with it. All right. Um, the major event that's going to happen, we've got the three of cups in reverse here. And what this is telling me is I don't feel like this it has anything to do with, you know, going out, celebrating, hanging out with friends, partying. I don't feel like it's that type of inspiration that they're giving you. I feel like it's more of your own creative endeavors, celebrating your own knowledge or your own inspiration, like really um, paying attention to that, you know, buckling down, being responsible, um, you know, going going with this creative inspiration. But I feel like it's not so much of a serious thing. It's just that you're not going to want to, I feel like some of you are not going to be around, want to be around people this weekend because you've had this spark of inspiration spontaneously and they're telling you to hop on it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Okay. Um, the energy that is surrounding you this weekend is Mars. Your physical energy drives strength and fighting spirit. So with this, what this tells me is that maybe some of you are going to just out of the blue decide to start working out. That could be some of you. Others of you, it could be that you are... Um, You've got the inspiration to stick up for yourself in a certain situation, maybe a social gathering, this being in reverse. This could be the event, the event that um, where you've actually got to speak yourself and you're being given that inspiration to speak yourself. Don't be fickle about it. Go with it. Use this Mars energy because this is going to bring you some type of success. All right. Because Mars does, even though Mars does things spontaneously and on a whim, okay, um, you know, with these two cards together, I really like it because this is the power of Mars right here. And with inspiration, it, it just goes, it goes amazing together. I just love that energy that's coming through. The shadow energy that you need to be wary of. The thing that can put like a kink in this creative endeavor or whatever it is that you're being inspired to go for this weekend is downcast pride. All right. Now with downcast pride, the feeling I get off of this card is some of you are doubting yourself. Some of you don't take pride in the things that you do or don't take pride in the things that you do accomplish. Um, some of you might just play it off as no big deal. Um, they're telling you, you need to have more pride in the situation. Whatever inspiration is coming in for you, know that you can achieve it. You can do it. Spontaneously, just jump on it. Jump on it. Do not overthink it. All right? All right. So we're going to break this down with my Lenormand. Um, I'm switching it up this weekend. I do read Lenormand, so... Um, you know, any of you want a Will Norman reading, let me know. Um, I got my information is in the comment box below. But other than that, let's just get on with the reading here. And let's see what this is about. Spirit, my guys, what is this about for those who picked Pile? One, please and thank you. My soul family.
Oh, wow. And one more. Oh, well, they decided to give me two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the garden in reverse here as the, as the underlying energy to go with this three. So community, being out in your community, um, being around people is just not in the cards for you this weekend. You do not want to do that. You don't want to socialize. It's like I really see you sticking to yourself this weekend. Um, but I do see that somebody uh, wants to come in, maybe offer some assistance, offer some help. Um, and I am hearing do not be fickle um, with this person. So do not be fickle with this person. This person might come in. Don't let pride get in the way. Um, I feel like this person is going to try to help the situation or maybe where you're stuck, where you're over. Ah, okay. So where you're stuck, where you're overthinking, this person is going to come in and bring that spark of, sit, of um, inspiration. Some of you, I feel like this fickle is about everything that you've been going through for the past couple of weeks. And it's like you can't figure out how to get out of it. And you just have no motivation to get out of it because you're overthinking it. All right. And then this person comes in and brings you that inspiration um, to get going on something. For some of you, it could be that you just don't want to be around people right now. You want to work through your own issues, through your own problems. They're saying do not let your pride get in the way. Do not think that you cannot do something that you can do. You are being told you can do this. Stop overthinking. All right. Right now, you know, we've got the mountain. So this has been a long journey for you. This has been something that's very hard. You've been trying to get past it. You've been trying to climb it. And it's like, it's right it's like no matter what you do, there's like a mountain in between you, a mountain overload of things right in between you and your goal. And they're saying, you know, with it, with it coming up underneath fickle, it's you are too much inside your own head and you're overthinking things way too much. And I feel like this person comes in and maybe gives you a little bit of clarity, maybe just with one sentence. It's like, boom, now you're inspired. Now you know what you need to do. Um, a lot of you, we've got the crossroads here. So it's like you've been thinking and overanalyzing a situation for way too long. And it's put you in that source, uh, in that state of being unmotivated, unmotivated to go forth, unmotivated to push past that mountain, unmotivated to make this choice. So I feel like this weekend with this inspiration coming in, it's like it's going to um, light that fire underneath your butt per se to make that decision or to follow that inspiration to to get past whatever this this mountain is that you have been overthinking, whatever is standing you in your way. Um, we've got faith here as the last card in, in the in the spread. So this is saying keep the faith, keep praying. This situation is going to get better. You're getting the inspiration this weekend to put yourself, to move yourself forward, okay? Don't think low of yourself. You can do this. Otherwise, this inspiration would not have come in for you, all right? Well, that, oh, got the advice here. Almost forgot the advice. Okay, so accept struggles as lessons. Absolutely. This mountain right here, accept, uh, <laughs> accept struggles as lessons. This mountain was a struggle. It was a lesson. It was a learning curve. Funny how crossroads is right there. It's all curvy. It was a learning curve. All right whatever this this mountain was, okay? It was a lesson, a lesson that needed to be learned. Some of you need to look up the number 220, no, 2,222, 2,222. Look that up. It's going to be significant for you this weekend. Um, okay, so 
moving right along, we have abundance is your right, okay? And I feel like this comes in underneath faith. Have faith that whatever is coming in, that inspiration, that's going to give you the motivation, that's going to give you that spontaneous burst to propel forward, all right? Do not think, do not get stuck in the shadow energy where you think you can't do something, all right? Because you can, because you can have faith that your abundance is going to come in. All right, this is giving you the drive, the inspiration, the motivation to get going, okay? Like I said, I feel like you're not going to want to be around people this weekend. And um, maybe some of you have been invited to a party or invited to a get-together, but you really don't feel like going um, because you're overthinking a problem in your current life and it's drained you so much that you can't see a way past that mountain. Well, that inspiration is going to come in. You're at a crossroads right now. There is a way around that ma that mountain. Learn from your mistakes. All right? Learn from your mistakes. Have you learned from your mistake? You're overthinking something, but have you learned from it? If you're overthinking it, you probably haven't learned from it. So, just know that there's going to be some type of inspiration that comes in this weekend that's going to help you move past that mountain. And you are being asked to spontaneously act on it. Do not think you can't do it. All right? Because this is the shadow energy. You feel like you can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right? Well, that's all I'm getting for you, Pile Ones. If this resonated with you, please let me know how it did in the comments below. Um, give my video a like, a share, a subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. Um, I ap appreciate any bit of support that you show me. I, If you have not picked another bio, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Pile my pile twos. If you picked pile two, this reading is for you. All right, so with pile two, um, the main angel with this portal that is coming through to give you advice is Jophiel. He wants you to know forgiveness, forgiveness of others, and for some of you, forgiveness of yourself. I feel just by having the cards all laid out in front of me, I feel like this is forgiveness of yourself. You're feeling guilty. Maybe you've done something wrong or maybe you did something bad to others or you did something bad to yourself. For some of you, I'm getting you are upset and mad at yourself and you're having a hard time forgiving yourself because you, um, what they're saying is you didn't handle a certain situation a certain way that is true to who you truly are as a person inside you haven't let your your true self out and it's like you're mad at yourself for not um, handling the situation that you know in your soul you probably should have handled the situation all right and you're having a really hard time forgiving yourself for this for others of you it's somebody did this to you and you need to really dig down deep and forgive the other person. Now, see, I keep saying on my channel, forgiveness does not mean, it does not mean that the other person was right. You are not validating that they were right, okay? When you forgive somebody, you are essentially saying to the universe and saying to yourself, I no longer want to carry this negative painful emotion with me. So I'm forgiving the situation and I'm leaving it up to the universe to handle. That's basically what you're doing with forgiveness. It's not for the other person, it's for you. So that way you can let go of all that dark energy and, and feel like and become more like yourself again. All right? Okay. So We've got the card for knowledge, certainty. 
you know, you know, for some of you, you know that forgiveness is something that needs to be had here. You know you need to give your forgiveness, all right, to a certain situation or to either or to yourself. For some of you, I am getting somebody's coming back to forgive you. All right, somebody from the past is coming back to forgive you this weekend. And that's what I get for a small few of you. Um, you know with certainty that this is that that this is right or this is true or this is wrong. It depends. You need to use your knowledge and your intuition in tandem if this person is coming back to forgive you. Now, if it is you forgiving yourself, you know you need to do this. You know, you know with absolute certainty that you need to do this. And it looks like this weekend is going to be the weekend where you're finally understanding it. You're finally getting it and you're finally reaching that place of forgiveness. For some of you, you might be forgiven by somebody else as well. Um, so maybe reaching out and asking that other person for forgiveness. It's like, you're certain the time is now you're certain that, um, you can, you can ask for forgiveness. You can reach out to this person. All right. We do have the card gamble here. So for some of you, you might have to take that gamble. If you have um, done something wrong to somebody in the past and you've been thinking about, you know, asking them for forgiveness, you've been thinking about reaching out to them, you know for certain that now is the time. Now is the time to take that gamble. All right. You have Joe Fio helping you with this. Okay. Reach out. Ask them for forgiveness if you've wronged somebody. Um, because more than likely, it will be re reciprocated. They will forgive you, okay? Um, for others of you, this is saying take a gamble on yourself. Forgive yourself. Let whatever past pain, past hurt that you know that you are certain of, let that go. Forgive yourself. Now is the time, all right? The major event is the Queen of Cups. So maybe some of you have to forgive a water sign or a water sign is going to forgive you this weekend. Um, also, what I'm getting with this, um, I, I have to jump right back because Spirit told me, is if somebody comes in and offers you forgiveness, you need to take a gamble on it. You need to take a gamble on it because this is being lined up. All right? But... Queen of Cups. Now, this person is very intuitive. This person is very into their intuition. All right. And it can say um, this could be somebody that's coming back to forgive you. That is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this could be your energy. And it's like you're very intuitive this weekend and you just know for certain. Follow your intuition you know for certain. And now is the time for forgiveness. It's not the time to sit back and dwell on it. It's the time to take a gamble because you know with absolute certainty that you cannot hang on to this pain any longer. All right. The energy being lent to this weekend is the moon, your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. Okay. So look to your emotions, evaluate your emotions. You know, the moon is all intuitive and your emotions are intuitive. Your emotions are separated from your intuition, but you access your intuition through your emotions, through the things that happen spontaneously out of the blue. It's that first thought. It's that gut feeling, right? So get in tune with your intuitions, with your intuition. Your intuition is highly strong. The moon with the queen of cups right here. Okay, this is the card of Pisces, I think. And this is the card of Cancer. So you could be dealing with a water sign here. But um, this, these two in the zodiac are highly intuitive. 
all right? And they're, they're, ask, they're saying your intuition is on point this weekend, all right? You can forgive somebody, all right? If you feel like you should forgive somebody, don't let your brain talk you out of it, all right? Go forward with it. Take that gamble, all right? Now, the shadow energy that you should be worried about this weekend, the thing that really can mess with you, is not that bad. Okay, we've got the child I was meant to be, eight. And look at the color around her scarf. Okay, and she's holding this pair. And look at the color around that. That is your solar plexus. That is your soul self. That is letting your soul self out. Okay, that is being true to who you truly are. If you feel if you feel in your gut now is the time for forgiveness, ask for it. Take that gamble, all right? Ask for it from yourself if you need to, all right? But take that gamble. If somebody comes back in and they're asking for your forgiveness, take that gamble because this is going to help you stay true to who, you're tr who you truly are, who you were meant to be, all right? Also, I mean, if this is you needing to apologize or needing to own up to something, this is saying, you know, this is the energy that you, this is the shadow energy and this is a good energy. This is a white energy because she's being herself. She's offering that olive branch, that tree of forgiveness. I want to read from the book. I didn't do this with the other pile, but this card because it is a light energy, um, and because I feel like there is more to say here, I want, and Spirit told me, to read from the book. So I'm going to read from the book the little passage they have for it, all right? Um, all right, so this is, all right, there is little darkness in this card, all right? It is a connection, and here I'll hold it up so that you can see it while I read it. It is a card of connection with ourselves. So many times it feels like a dream. It's fleeting, uncertain, and yet clear. The moment you close your hand to grasp it, it turns into fairy light and disappears. But it remains as a lingering smell and a, a, I can't, I can't say that word. Oh, flea feeling of light, peaches and blossoms. It is faith. It is hope. Faith and hope. All right. Taking the gamble, asking for forgiveness. It is a warm smile at the other side of the forest of smoke and mirrors. So it's like you coming out of the darkness, you finally, you know, realizing, hey, there needs to be some forgiveness in this situation. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck in the darkness. So this is more of like, it's a light card, but it's warning you that if you don't follow through with it, that's where you're going to be stuck at. All right. We can be whole again. We can be pure again. We can be happy again. No matter what we did, we can. Just know this is a gift of light among the cruel darkness. It brings no road, sometimes no solace, but it can become a seed of hope, a wind of change, a place to a place for safety in the storm, even if it's gone. It was definitely here. So what this is saying to me is even if you extend that forgiveness or they ask for forgiveness, the situation isn't automatically going to heal itself overnight. There might be times where it takes a little bit more. I know when I forgave people, you know, it did. I, I forgave them. But it took a while to heal. This is the first step in the healing process. So forgiveness is a big, big thing. A big, big thing for you this weekend. And it's going to make you that emotionally 
mature person. All right, so just, just tap into your intuition here. Use that power. All right, so I have my Lenormand here. I'm going to break it down with the Lenormand. I do read Lenormand. If you would like a Lenormand reading, my email is in the description box. But um, getting on with the reading here. Spirit, my guys, what is this about for people who are drawn to Pile 2? What is this about for people who are drawn to Pile 2? Okay. You know, what's funny is that one got that same card. I'll show you the card in a minute. I just want to get all the cards laid out in front. Mm. Before I read them. What is this about, Spirit? Please and thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Alrighty. So, you know, pile one got this card too. So if you weren't drawing pile one, you might want to go check out pile one. Um, but we've got the mountain here. We've got the mountain. So this is like some type of problem, something that has been blocked, something that's blocking your path to healing. And for a lot of you, I feel like this mountain has to do with forgiveness, okay? This is your your block. This is your mountain trying to get up the strength, the courage to either forgive yourself, forgive somebody, or ask for forgiveness, okay? I'm trying to read it in all three different things because this is a general reading. But whatever it is, it's like that problem that you need to forgive or that person that you need to forgive. That thing that is standing in your way of reaching your destination, of reaching who you truly are, all right? Then we've got the owls here. Now, the owls speak of wisdom. They speak of knowledge. They're also messengers. So somebody could be delivering a message. This, And, you know, I feel like for some of you, this is somebody coming back and asking for forgiveness. And they're saying it might be hard for you this weekend to um, accept it. But they're advising you to take that gamble, to accept it. It's not going to be easy, and the path to healing is going to be hard because it always is. Because um, we're in so much pain, but it's it's your next step. It's the next step in healing the situation. So it needs to happen. And I feel like a lot of you, you're going to be getting a message from out of the blue um, on, you know, somebody's going to come back and ask for forgiveness. And they're saying, take a gamble on this person. Others of you, this is you delivering the message. Hey, I need to forgive or hey, can you forgive me? All right. For others of you, this is going within, finding that knowledge within yourself to forgive yourself. We've got the mice here in reverse. The mice speak of gossip. They speak of um, rumor. Okay, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like whatever, whatever is being communicated to you, I feel is genuine. This person is not doing it um, to, uh, to get some sort of financial gain or some sort of, you know, popularity out of the situation. They're truly, it's truly genuinely their apology is coming from the heart. They truly, genuinely mean it. All right? And then we've got the fish here. The fish speaks of abundance, of happiness, of good times, of wealth. All right? And we've got the fish right here as well in this card. And these two came out together. So this is you having that emotional abundance, that abundance in your intuition, that wealth. Your intuition is your wealth this weekend. All right? So tap into it. Listen to it. You have, you have good things coming to you. And I feel like 
if you do not forgive, if you stay stuck in that shadow and you don't use the power of your own intuition and take the gamble here that you know for certain you need to take, this will not come in for you later. All right. So um, try to take that advice. Okay. We've got practice moderation. Practice moderation here. All right. Um, that that with the mountain, with the forgiveness and the practice moderation, it might be saying that, you know, and just know that forgiveness is the first step. Okay. There's still a lot more steps you got to take to get up that mountain. All right. Practice moderation with it. Take one step at a time. One hurdle at a time. All right. And then you will find that in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, in like half a year, you look back and you're a lot further up that mountain, all right? Whoever wronged you, whoever's coming back, whoever you wronged, who you're going back and asking for forgiveness for, or whether the forgiveness is taking self um, within yourself, it's saying practice moderation. Yes, this is the first step. It's not going to be all peaches and cream this weekend. It's not going to be like, yeah, I forgive you. We're best friends again. Let's go have fun. It's not going to be like that. It's going to take some time, take some steps. But there is somewhere you need to be with this connection later on down the line of this year. I'm getting like fall. There's going to be something significant with you in this connection. Whoever you were forgiving, forgiving, if it's you forgiving yourself, you forgiving another person or another person asking for your forgiveness, um, whatever that connection is, in the fall, something good is going to happen. Something abundant is going to happen. And it's like you need to take the first step now in order to reach that place in the fall. Damn it. <laughs> Just making sure you're on my wavelength here, where I'm going with this. Okay. So then we've got, you know, lead by example. Lead by example in this situation. Okay. You have the knowledge. You have the wisdom. Um, you know, when somebody comes in and asks for your forgiveness, you know, if you want them to... Uh, or if you, if, if there is somebody out there that you need to ask for forgiveness for, if you can forgive this person, it's like setting the example, like, Hey, I'm open to forgiveness, whether it's forgiving myself, forgiving somebody else. Cause I have the wisdom. I have the knowledge. I know why this happened. I know why this happened. It it's bad that it happened, but it didn't happen to me. It happened for me to grow me. All right. And I feel like you got that wisdom. And, you know, it's also showing other people, giving the message to other people. This is how you better your life. This is how you get um, back on track. This is how you forgive. This is how you can move on and become more abundant and more happy in your life. You're showing people this weekend with your ability to forgive a situation that, you know, forgiveness is good. And it eventually, you know, pans out. Inspire others. Inspire others. This is how you're going to inspire others, okay? This situation might be, and I am feeling for some of you, this is one big freaking doozy. Like, this is like mountains of all mountains, like had a landslide and a boulder, boulder fell, fell on your chest is what I'm feeling like. And it's like if when other people start seeing that you can forgive and you can move on, it's like then they want to do it. They're inspired to do it. And they're inspired to be true and not gossip and not, you know, and not um, hate on the situation. All right. People are not going to think badly of you for forgiving this person. All right, they're not going to think badly. They they actually will probably think that you're stronger. All right, that you're a stronger person because you can. So, 
just wanted to put that out there. Well, this is all that I'm getting for you, Pile twos. If this resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, please give my video a big thumbs up or subscribe or share or whatever, however you want to support it. Thank you so much for coming and I wish you all a very um, blessed weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi all my pile threes. If you pick pile threes, Three. This reading is for you. Alright. So let's hop right into it. Alright. So this week, uh, I feel very heavily it's about miraculous healing. Okay. That's what I'm getting from the energy, from the cards that I'm seeing right here. It's about healing yourself. So if you pick this pile, it's about healing um, either relationships or your actual body. Okay. All right. So we've got, um, the angel that came through this portal for you to deliver this message is Metatron. All right. And we've got miracles happening this weekend. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We've got a baby here. And when I first pulled this card, my eyes was instantly drawn to that baby. Instantly drawn to that baby. So some of you might be hearing about somebody getting pregnant um, this this uh, weekend or somebody might be coming out that they're pregnant. Might be somebody that has had a hard time getting pregnant in the past, but bam, it's like they come out and they say that they're pregnant this weekend. It could actually be somebody who has been having a hard time getting pregnant this weekend. Remember, these pick a piles could be happening to you, for you, or around you. So take the energy however the energy plays out best for you. Um, <coughs> some type of miracle coming in for you. All right, so we've got hydromancy illusion here. So for some of you, maybe you were told that um, this couldn't happen, um, that you were not strong enough, or that you, or maybe you thought that you couldn't heal from the certain situation. It was an illusion because this weekend is bringing good healing in here for you. All right. Then we've got messages. We've got messages. So some of you might have been getting, lining up the signs, lining up the synchronicities, seeing the messages coming in for you. Feathers could be significant. Something with water could be significant as well is what I'm feeling. I'm seeing reflections everywhere in this thing. <coughs> so some of you really need to take the time and reflect, you know, really understand your body. Think about what's going on inside of you how you emotionally feel, how you physically feel. Um, you might be surprised to find that you have like healed and moved on from a certain situation, like miraculously. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for some of you. Some of you also, um, my throat was kind of like choked up there. <coughs> So it's like you need to speak. You need to speak your truth. You need to um, <coughs> really let people know what's going on with you. Some of you, um, some of you, I feel who have been having a hard time getting pregnant. I do feel like something with. Um, I'm I'm seeing fertile here and I'm and I keep I'm keep my eye keeps going to that baby and it keeps going to the kid in this picture. And this is why I say healing, because this is the energy that's being lent to this weekend for you is Chiron. All right. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. Some of you, um, for some of you, you might be getting a message from somebody else this weekend um, that might have gone through something um, or is going through something similar 
that you went through, um, something that you've already healed from, that you might have to um, you might have to give advice on. Okay. Now Chiron. Um, the funny thing about Chiron is Chiron has been wounded so bad, and he had to fix. He had to learn how to fix his own wounds. Um, so he teaches how to fix those wounds. Okay. Chiron teaches us how to fix those wounds. So with the miracles coming in with it, I feel like some of those deep wounds that you have, it's like you will find you have miraculously healed from. Okay. And I do feel like for some of you out there, this is somebody who has gone through the same pain and they're, they're feeling very emotional right now, and they might be calling you up, asking you for your advice on this sit particular situation. Um, for some of you, don't believe what they say. Um, what they say could, uh, what I heard is it could be an illusion um, that they, you really need to, um, Remember what you were learning or what you have learned, the lesson you have learned around this. Um, because some of you might, they might, they not, might not be giving you the whole story there. It might be an illusion of some kind. So just keep that in mind for some of you out there. Now, the shadow energy being lent to this is today for tomorrow. Okay, so with this card being the shadow energy, it's, this card speaks of like that ant that always goes out and like prepares for winter. You know, he goes out there and he's just like a hard worker and he puts his, he puts his, you know, head to the grind to store food for the winter, right? But this also speaks of for the future, okay? So he's living for today so that he can have a better future, right? Well, this is also saying there. You know, with the cicada, they, in that story, or the grasshopper, and the ant and the grasshopper, or whatever, I'm, I'm using that as an example here, um, the grasshopper just sat around and, like, did nothing for the future, and then what happened when the future hit? You know, so do you give up all your playtime, or are you constantly in playtime. Okay. So there needs to be a balance there. You need to think about the future, but still be in the present. All right. There's a fine balance between the two. So, um, that's the shadow energy around, around you. Don't overindulge in play and forget about the future. Forget about your health. Forget about the wounds that you've healed. Okay. But don't work so hard because they're already healed, okay? You know, it's okay to maintain and keep up on it, but don't overly do it, okay? Stay in the present while still thinking about the future is what this card is saying. Because the shadow energy is saying you're doing too much of one. You're either working too hard or, or you're not working enough. All right, you got to have a, you got to maintain a proper balance there. And that's funny because that leads me into the next card, which is the situation for this weekend. And we've got justice. Okay, we've got justice. So here, again, this is saying, you know, proper balance. You're going to have to find proper balance this weekend. And I feel like some of you might because we do have the miracles coming in here. That is what. Metatron is saying there's going to be miracles happening this weekend and I feel like it's going to properly balance you out whereas in the past you might have been very unbalanced you might be might have been too workaholic-ish or not workaholic enough you know what I mean so it's like this I feel like this is a past shadow energy that might resurface to upset this balance that you are um maintaining this weekend okay this proper balance for some of you it could be a court case for some of you this could be a court um child thank you spirit um for some of you this is a child custody case where 
um, maybe the partner that you are battling over a child for, maybe they're not um, giving enough to the situation or they are, um, they're more into their play than their work. And it's like, that's why you're going to court. That's why you're trying to get this child because they're not thinking about the future at all. That's what I'm picking up for some of you. And with this Chiron here, I do see that you will be successful because, and especially with miracles, I feel like you will win in this situation. You have a leg up in this situation. Do not become unbalanced this weekend because this is what's bringing, um, this is what's bringing it in. For some of you, you might have a court case next week. Um, but the court case will go in your favor because this is your own karma returning back to you. Okay. You've already healed. You've already healed this wound and justice is being served on the person that wronged you on the shadow energy, the person that is just all take, take, take instead of take, give, take, give. All right, so it's like their their karmic energy is coming back to them is what I'm feeling. Um, they oh okay, thank you, thank you, spirit. Okay, so um, in that in that scenario in that case, I am just seeing one thing right here. So if this isn't resonating with you, it might happen to somebody around you or to you. Um, but I'm seeing one thing happening here. This person right here is under the illusion that they're going to win. Under the illusion that they are going to win this case. All right. Um, you, however, are not. Okay. There is, this is the message that's coming in for you. You are not. And if you, if you think that this is an illusion, that this isn't going to happen for you, you will get confirmation um, if you ask your angels to give you confirmation. They can send it in a feather or they might send it in something uh, something green. You might notice something green. All right. Is what I'm picking up. But it seems like your heart chakra is really good. Your solar plexus chakra is really good. You're healed. You can take care of the situation. Whereas the other person has some difficulties, okay? Their um, karma is coming back to them. All right, so what I'm going to do now is break it down with the Lenormand. Um, I do read Lenormand, so if you would like to get um, a reading from me, my, uh, my um, information is in the description box. Just send me an email. All right, so let's get back to this. Spirit, Guys, what is this about for those who picked pile three? For those who picked pile three, please and thank you. Some of you are going to be going to file, to file for custody is what I also heard. Um, so, but it's going to go in your favor. You're being granted a miracle this weekend. Some of you are going to go file for custody next weekend is what I'm picking up or next week, not next weekend, next week. It's like something comes in this weekend. Okay. So for some of you who are going to file, have yet to file for custody over this thing, something happens this weekend. There's a message that's coming in this weekend. Because the person that has a child is delusional. Hmm. Something happens this weekend. Not to the kid. Not to the kid. That's not what I'm getting. I'm not getting anything like death related. But it, it's going to put you in favor in the courts. And it's like... And it's going to give you the motivation. It's going to give you the motivation to file. That's for some of you. That got very specific, but that's for some of you. For others of you out there, um, for others of you out there, I feel like in the past where maybe you have wanted to have a kid, um, but have had 
problems in that area, it's because your health wasn't at the right peak because you were living today for tomorrow or tomorrow for today or whatever the case may be there. Um, and now it's like that illusion is being lifted. You're reflecting more and you, you've healed your body and now is the time for it to come in. Now is the time for your um, partnership, your loved one or to come in, the, the baby to come in. All right, so let's get to it. Spirit, guides, what is this about? I'm going to pull all the cards first, and then I will explain them. That came out by justice, so I'm going to put that there. I do apologize. Um, I do apologize. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. All right. Let's get the other one. Okay. Okay. So right off the bat, we've got the bear and we've got the fish there. Now the bear to me speaks of an overbearing person. This could be um, the this shadow energy person. Okay. Um, but also the bear also speaks to me of a kind, caring person as well. Somebody, this could be you. This could be you. It might be telling you to take on that bear-like um, quality where you're protective of your young. You go out, you fend <laughs> for them. You know, you really stick up for them. The bear can mean many, many things. Um, but for in, the, in this case, you know, it going along with illusion. And, you know, there's the water again. It's like you need to reflect you need to reflect on this shadow energy. Whoever, whatever, is it you that has the shadow energy or is it the other person? I feel like it's the other person because you have Chi or Chiron as your energy here. So there is somebody, and Chiron's all about healing. So somebody here is not looking at the bigger picture. They're seeing only an illusion. They're not getting that. Um, they're not getting that. In order to be abundant, you have to work for it. You have to. Um, you have to go out and take it. It's not just going to be offered to you. Okay, that's what I feel like this person needs to learn. Um, but I feel like you have already learned that you see past the illusion, you know who this person is and you are this bear able to, um, be that mama bear or that papa bear to your young. All right. Okay. So the next one is the fox in reverse. Now, the fox in the upright speaks of trickery, speaks of deceit, speak, speaks of um, somebody who works really hard with their cunning. But when it's in the reverse like this, I feel like there's no lies, there's no more deceit, there's no more illusion here. All right. It's like you're moving on, you're moving past it. There are miracles that are happening here for you when it involves children this weekend. Something involving children, healing ch wounds with children, um, helping a, ch a child out of a situation that has this shadow energy is what I'm feeling because you've been in that shadow energy before. Um, and then we've got crossroads here. So I don't understand why this came out at the end of the reading. And this is miracles right here. So some of you might, might be stuck on the fence on what to do in this situation. But I feel like this coming in with message, with message, I feel like there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be uh, some type of message that comes in that helps you make that decision. You're not going to be in that indecision for too long is what I'm feeling. Um, because we do have the sun at the end of the reading. 
the sun with the justice and Chiron card. Ugh. So this is a chance for you to heal your wound. Well, not just heal your wound. I mean, you've already healed. You've got some miracles in. But whatever the situation is revolving our child, it's healing for you. It's putting things back in balance. If it is a court situation, I do see it going good. I see it um, them favoring you. All right. So let's get the advice. We've got live your bliss. Live your bliss. And this comes in with the bear. Hold on. Live your bliss. This comes in with the bear. So this is saying, you know, you have the abundance coming in right now. You have the miracle. All right. This child's a miracle. It's a miracle. All right. Live it. Live your bliss. Okay. Don't be caught up in that illusion that, um, that everything can be taken away in one moment. Don't be caught up in that illusion, okay? This is in favor of you. Follow the golden rule, okay? So this kind of goes along with the shadow energy because it's like, you know, you only get what you put out there. If you treat others wrongly, you're going to get treated wrong in return. I mean, we've got Chiron and justice here all right so it's like live your bliss you have a miracle going on don't listen to gossip don't listen to naysayers don't let anybody trick you you don't you're not going to be able to do that you're not going to be able to do that because you're fully healed it's like you fully come into it so show people how show people how be the example then we've got understand your body coming in with crossroads here and messages so understand your body there is something going on inside your body that might need to be healed um and i feel like it's more of a physical problem than it is an emotional or mental problem because i feel like i keep being dr drawn back to kids and the mo father bear or mother bear um especially if you're taking on if you're taking on another child or another kid or you have become pregnant or you don't know you're pregnant, understand your body. All right. You got to make that decision there. There's a crossroads there when concerned with your body. It's like, am I? Aren't I? Do I buy a pregnancy test? Do I not buy a pregnancy test? Understand your body. What's your body saying? All right. Do I file for custody? Do I not file for custody? understand your body are you physically fit to take care of this thing uh, of this person that thing oh my god why did i say thing i don't know it's a long day <laughs> are you physically fit to take care of this all right for some of you it might be a thing it might be a miracle coming in that has helped you heal it could be it could be a miracle coming in with money or finances or possessions. It could, could very well be. And they're saying, well, do you have the strength to take on that thing? Do you have the strength to take on that, that court case, court case? Do you have the strength to take on that court case? Um, you need to understand your body. You need to heal. Um, for some of you, you need to heal. For others of you, you're already healed and it's saying you can do this. You are physically fit enough now to do this. You are mentally sound enough to do this. So my main advice walking away from this reading is you need to take some time to reflect this weekend because there is some type of miracle involving a child coming in involving healing like that you find your healing through the child um or helping heal the child you find healing through helping the child heal is what i want to say um make sure you're paying attention to your body and make sure that you're living for today and for the future make sure it's well balanced okay well, those are all the messages I have for you. If this made sense, if this resonated, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, and I uh, thank you all for coming. If you like my video, give it a, a thumbs up. 
subscribe, share it, however you want to support. I greatly much appreciate it. And until the next video, bye.